So here is my front yard garden and uh, I just want to show the soil. I've been kind of working on it for a couple years. This is uh, almost November. Um, haven't had a frost yet, but of course things are looking pretty rough. But if you look at the size of uh, all, the, all the buds here on this roselle, um, plenty of uh, mouse melons, cuckoo melon. Um, and then you look at these nice big pepper plants and it's hard to imagine that uh, deer took them down to the ground twice this year. So this is still, they're, they're a good three feet tall and many, many very ridiculously hot peppers. Um, and the rest of the garden, you'll see more. They're kind of blown down at this point. I've got a lot of picking to do, get these in. Um, some of the annual flowers have died back now, but anyway, not impressive looking, but think of the scale and how much has grown. Now this was done this year in my clay soil with zero fertilizer. So how, how did we get there? So two years ago, this was all grass and I skimmed off the grass, planted one cover crop. In the spring, I cut it down and I mulched over with hardwood chips from the county. Um, so that was all free, just the cost of cover crop seeds. And things grew quite well in that last year. And I last year I did use fertilizer. It was early on and I you would dig a hole through the mulch and plant down into that and um, and grow. Then this, following that, I did another year of cover crops. And so now it's two years of cover crops and then mulching over the top. I was really thinking I had tons of beautiful, deep rich loam developing under there, lots of organic material. And I dug down and I was disappointed at first but of course it wasn't realistic to think I suddenly had so much material created from just this short time. But what's more exciting actually is that it's still clay soil and plants are growing great and I used zero fertilizer this year on these. Um, so when I plant I make a small hole, put the seedling in with some a little bit of compost, almost like inoculating the area with some um, slow, slowly developed compost, not hot compost. And, uh, and they do great. So uh, the hardest thing is keeping the deer out of them. So before we take a look at this soil, let's take a look at what it, I started with and what, what I still have under the grass and where I'm developing some new beds. Okay, so let's do an infiltration test on the soil as it was. So uh, here I'm working on creating a new bed that's all cover crop. A little bit densely seeded, but anyway, it's, it's growing in. And here is a bucket that I cut the bottom off of and just jammed it into the soil. And so it'll contain this area. And here's two inches of the equivalent of rain. So now we pour that in. And we see how long it takes to actually go into the ground. Maybe I shouldn't have done two inches because this is going to take forever. So, uh, doo -doo -doo. All right, I'll be right back. Let's, uh, let's give it some time. We'll see what happens. So Ziggy's come to check things out and uh, possibly bumped it a little leaking out the sides. Uh, this is an hour later, and um, so with seepage, so that's not infiltrating the ground, but leaking out the sides, but uh, we still have basically an inch of water. So an inch an hour, maybe less, because that's uh, quite a bit that came out the sides, but anyway, I think that's the nature of how this will, test will go, there'll always be some seepage. Um, anyway, so... Not great. Um, I know if I dig a hole here and fill it with water, it'll still have some water in there the next day. So it's, this is just the clay as it's been. Just sat here with lots of compaction and really um, just the grass on top. So no, not really deep roots or anything. Uh, and no, not a lot of soil life, I don't think. Uh, it's so dense, there's no air getting down into that soil. So that's what our existing soil looks like. And I'm going to dig out a chunk to take a look at a cross-section of what it looks like about a foot down. Okay, so dug down about a foot so we can see what the soil looks like here. And um, 
you know, there's been grass. So there's been just a little bit of decomposing grass and so forth at the top, about an inch maybe where it's growing. And you can see that solid band of clay. And then another darker clay down at the bottom. So that's, that's what my soil's like here. This is just under the grass all around the house and what it's been. So, um, here's looking at a slice I just took out. And if you take this soil, you see it's, um, it's clay. It's just solid. It's, there's no breakup in it, no aggregates. It's really just kind of solid, compacted clay. So that's what we start with. Not not the greatest, and I understand why people don't love it to grow in. Um, but anyway, um, so now let's go back and look at the other area where I've been working on just for two years, just trying to improve the clay without removing it or really even amending the underlying clay. All right, so now let's come back to the front garden and take a look at this soil. So I'm gonna just go right between these plants here this is where I'll do the perk test, um, but first I am going to skim off the mulch. Don't think that's, we don't consider that part of the soil that's on top of it. And also it will be harder to keep leakage. Um, so we'll go down to where I perceive first soil. So I'll be right with you in a minute. Okay, so here we are. I've dug down, I've sunk the cutoff bucket into the soil here. Uh, you can see the, some of the roots and a worm. Here, let me take him out so he doesn't have to go for a swim. Um, so we'll just go ahead and take our two inches of water and just pour that in. All right, so we'll start the timer. Well, we don't even have to start the timer. Oh my, there goes two inches of water. Pretty much gone. See that last little place there dripping in. So, uh, you know, it'll finish settling, but that was quick. It could seep around the sides, I, you know. It's harder with this soil because there's not the same seal you get with the clay. But you could see how quickly that was soaking in, even at the end there. So just uh, literally a few seconds and there goes two inches right into the ground. So, when you're watering, it goes into the ground. When you get a little bit of rain, it's just... The tiniest bit's going to get into the ground versus running off on the clay. That clay absorbs so little. And again, what you're looking at is what was where there was lawn and there was that clay. So this is two years, cover crop, then mulch, cover crop, then mulch. So now let's uh, take a moment and I'll find another spot. I don't want to dig right in that water, but I'll, I'll find another spot in here. Maybe just the other side of these peppers and... Uh, dig down and we'll take a look at the soil structure. Okay, so I've dug down here and you can see there's that mulch at the top. There's a little bit of loam, but it really is primarily still clay. But you also see all those roots. Now this is just the peppers and so forth they have growing now. And again, there were a bunch of worms and all that happy stuff. But even down low, I'm going to have a harder time taking this out because it just, it's more crumbly. So I have to get pretty far down before I'm hitting anything that really resembles that same stuff from in back. So all of that top just takes in that water. And even that lower part, there's going to be roots from the radishes and others, different channels into that. And it really is about how this is changed crumbly aggregates you know this sort of crumbly soil is what plants love to grow through because there's so much life so much going on here the fungus from you know, the wood chips really help with that and i think i just like to suggest when people think of what do i have to add to my clay what do i have to add to my soil i am adding things but i'm not trying to take it all out. I'm not trying to dig it all in. It's much simpler, lower maintenance. And the important thing is, once you're building these fungal communities and these bacteria, your plants 
are very happy. And again, no fertilizer, just what's being made available by keeping living roots in the ground year round, by keeping cover crops on it, by the deep mulch, you know, all of this just grows and grows because everything is accessible in the soil. Clay is a very rich soil. It's just making it available to your plants, making the minerals available, growing the legumes to get you in the cover crops to get you the nitrogen you need. Um, so if you have clay soil, don't think about it as a handicap. Think about what it can become. You know, this is just gonna keep getting more and more improved over time. And again, I wish I had taken video of this back in the spring. Um, it was all coming up so strongly and over the summer, but this is late fall and it's still, um, you know, there's a ton of picking to do here. <laughs> I don't know why I grow all these super hot peppers. I give them mostly away, way too hot for me, but they're fun, they grow great. And uh, so we'll see what next year brings out here. But again, the flowers, everything grew so well with no additives. And I am just really become such a believer of cover crops, not just to add things to the soil, but keeping the living roots, sustaining that whole microbial ecosystem under the soil and all the fungus, uh, the fungal life that brings, that's the communication that brings the nutrients to your roots, to your plants. Um, growing in the soil is easier than growing in a container or a raised bed that's all augmented because there you're growing in a media, you're growing in dirt, you're growing in a substrate and everything that the plant needs you have to bring to it. When you grow in soil and you maintain your soil and you build your soil, the soil brings what your plants need to it. The fungus, all of the microorganisms, all of the things and lower disease, you don't get that growth spurt from when you first put on fertilizer that brings all the aphids. This is just stable, reliable growth all year round. And again, deer came through here and ate these things down <laughs> several times, so they'd probably be even taller. So anyway, that's what I wanted to see. Celebrate your clay soil. You can make a lot out of it.